Hi Libra, Mary here. I have your monthly guidance for the month of February 2019. <laughs> Forgive me, this is my last reading. I'm a little tongue-tied. Tongue um, remember, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. And you can check out your moon sign and your rising sign as well. All right. Let's see, what do we have for Libra spirit? What can you show me for Libra? The sign of Libra. Thank you so much. Please show me the sign of Libra. First card up was the King of Wands. It's followed by the Ten of Cups. Please show me the Libra. And we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so the King of Wands could be someone coming into your life with a fire sign, male or female. Uh, so that would be Aries, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So that could be someone coming in. It could also be that you're just feeling more confident, more charismatic. Um, you've got that real fire energy, um, get up and go, action-oriented. Um, you've got the Ten of Cups, so I feel like things are going well on the home front. You feel pretty emotionally satisfied. Cups are emotional energy. Um, I feel like things are going well for you on the home front for the month of February. Now, you've got the Page of um, Pentacles. So, pages can be messengers, so there could be um, some correspondence coming to you that will lead to financial stability. It could also be uh, a younger person coming into your life with an earth sign. So that would be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So it could be, um, let's see, Capricorn. It could be uh, that you just had a, a child or you're going to have a child with that, an earth sign. I'm not sure. Um, and that would be male or female. Okay, so we have The Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed And that was a whole bunch that jumped out, so I'm not going to take it. What can you tell me for the sign of Libra for February? What can you share with me for the sign of Libra? Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I actually pulled two cards. So the first card is there's no place like home. So that can mean, I think I'm, that can mean several things. It can mean that, you know, to me, uh, home is where the heart is. So no matter where you go, you're home. Um, it could be that you're moving, that you're thinking of moving. It's, it's funny that you got this card too. Because this is like everything's going well on the home front. Um, could be that you're just feeling really comfortable at home. <laughs> Um, something like that. It could be that you're moving, that you're changing homes as well. Um, okay. Now you've got new life. So this is a new chapter for you. Um, you may be tidying up things from the old, uh, an old chapter, but I feel like this is a new life for you, a new start. Um, yeah, I feel like new life. That's interesting. I got this card with another sign, and all the cards were pointing to a baby, <laughs> which doesn't happen very often. But it could be that there's, you know, you have a baby coming or a baby's on the way or something like that. could be that um, young energy coming in. Okay. This is Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors deck. What can you show me for Libra? For February, what can you show me for Libra for February? Well, it's the night card and it says to be brave and honest. So you want to have the courage to be authentically you. Uh, you may have, um, you may have to t be honest about your feelings about something. I'm not really sure what that is in regards to. You probably. Um, will understand it if you hear that message and you need to hear it. Um, but try to be authentically you. Be your authentic self. 
sometimes just being who you truly are can be the most courageous thing you'll ever do. <laughs> because you may not fit with what society thinks you're supposed to be. Um, but be brave. Okay, this is Kyle Gray's uh, Angel Prayers deck. The sign of Libra. It says to love and accept yourself. Accept yourself for who you are, not just the good parts, but also the shadow side. We all have a shadow side, every single one of us. And it's good to know what that is. It's good to go within and kind of figure out, you know, what makes you tick. And um, to just be the observer of your own um, patterns of behavior and things like that. But love and accept yourself for who you are, warts and all. Um, and when you do that, that brings love into your life. It allows others to love you, and um, it can also help you to be this brave knight and be authentic. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there, Libra. I hope that you have a great month of February. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd love a comment below if you resonate, and I hope you have a great month of February. Thanks for watching. Take care.